Now, members, uh, further to a motion uh, moved earlier today, I would now like to call upon the member for North West Central to speak. Um, thank you, uh, Madam um, Speaker, and um, I say thank you for your friendship and guidance uh, throughout uh, your career, my career, and, um, and wish you all the best in your you. future career. Uh, members, after more than 17 years in the West Australian State Parliament, it is with mixed emotions and after much soul searching and consideration that I've made the difficult decision to call time on politics and will step away in August this year and would like to thank the hundreds of messages that I've received from around the state and many from my Labor, former Labor Party colleagues. Thank you. Members, it's not one of those spe tell-all speeches that devolves the secrets or hits out against MPs or suddenly tells everyone at the last moment what they really thought over the two, last two decades. I'm not that politician. I've always said how it is and wore my heart on my sleeve and never afraid to take, make my opinion heard and always backing my constituents in my electorate first. At age 28, um, I was the youngest person elected to the Legislative Council back in 2005 as a Labor member for Mining and Pastoral at that time, having first joined the Labor Party in 1991 and holding many positions within the party, including three years as young Labor president. Having grown up with a father, not only being a member of this place, but a member of the ALP for 40 years, leaving the Labor Party was a difficult and daunting decision, knowing the response I will receive by my former party. But I have no regrets in leaving the Labor Party in 2009. After becoming the member for North West in 2008, a move I saw necessary to be able to deliver the best regionally focused outcomes and allowing me to truly deliver for my electorate, which the voters of North West endorse not once, but three elections as a Nationals member. The opportunity to be part of the implementation of the National Party signature policy of Royalties for Regents, something that was talked about by regional communities for decades. With the majority of West Australians' wealth from the regions, it was time for the regions to receive their fair share of the pie. It has been fulfilling to have been a member of the party that has delivered critical infrastructure and amenities that have improved the lives of residents and allowed regional communities to take advantage of better infrastructure to attract and retain people in the bush. Issues such as worker shortage, the need for workers' accommodation, health services not able to cope, uh, not being able to have a baby in your hometown, with escalating uh, costs of doing business and pay not keeping pace with the cost of living, adding pressure, which is worse than the boom of the early 2000s. The Royalties for Regions program is desperately needed again to keep pace with demand. We know that teachers, nurses, police and other government agency roles are not being filled in our regional communities, often due to the lack of investment in our regions such as government housing and basic amenities, coupled with the need for better regional incentives to offset higher regional costs and remoteness. For almost two decades in Parliament, I have been passionate and committed to my electorate. With North West Central being one of the largest 860,000 square kilometres, most diverse remote electorates in Australia, if not the world, ensuring all the voices in the area are heard is a consistent challenge. I have regularly clocked up more than 140,000 kilometres a year on the road, many in the air, whilst trying to conquer my fear of flying. As many would say, why don't you fly more? Firstly, I would simply say, has your en engine stopped over the ocean? <laughs> have you flown through storms or thermals in what we call bug smashes? But often it's simply there is no connectivity between towns or, fli uh, or flights, and there is just, uh, and you just don't able to, you're not able to marry up uh, what you need to do in your electorate, especially when towns are hundreds of kilometres apart. With more than half the year uh, quite literally living out of my car, having become a father of five, to, uh, five wonderful children during my time in Parliament, with my wife, Danielle, uh, needing to take on the lion's share of parenting, without our kids, uh, with our kids now becoming teenagers, I realise I'd like to be more uh, of a present father figure in their lives. Um, with the support of Danny, we have decided I will look for, that for a challenge that will keep the kilometres in the car to a minimum and increase my time with the family. Reflecting on my time as a local member for North West, uh, there is no shortage of humbling experiences to look back on. 
As I immerse myself in the electorate and the lives of the people who live there, I have much as possible ensured that I've been on the ground to assist constituents faced with the challenges of cyclones. And we've had two uh, in my time, Owen and Sirosha, and, and as a local member, there's not much you can do but to get your hands dirty. And I remember uh, with Owen, uh, with uh, the, uh, Dudley Mazin, uh, who was a shy, well, uh, the former member of this place, uh, putting up trees to ensure that they could survive after they'd been blown down by the, the cyclone. And uh, with the latest cyclone last year, with Cyclone Sherosia, uh my good friends, the Morgan family, who are here today, uh, with Colin and Rodney in Sydney, um, undertook at their expense they came down from Shark Bay to bring their equipment and helped out in four days 75 houses um, uh, to ensure that they can clean up their properties, make them safe uh, and, um, and ensure that they have a, a, a chance to start to, to rebuild. And I thank you immensely, um, um, the Morgan family who has taken that on themselves and they're here today. Um, but also, we're, we've had the, uh, one of the biggest floods in history uh, in Carnarvon back in 2010-11, uh, where it basically took away Gascoigne Junction, uh, a town 180 kilometres east of Carnarvon, absolutely destroyed by the flood, as well as uh, the plantation areas and, and much of Carnarvon at the time. Uh, yet again, if it wasn't for the uh, fast-thinking um, and uh, or, uh, the, the Shire President at the time, W. Madison, who actually prepared for uh, this flood to occur by stockpiling sand uh, in town to ensure that they could build the levee so the town would not get flooded. But uh, that was uh, one, of the, one of the toughest um, situations as a uh, member of parliament to be able to deal with those many people who, uh, that, the, the people who actually got, um, uh, who were devastated by the, the, uh, the largest flood on history for Carnarvon. But we've also had bushfires co covering the size of the southwest. Natural disasters are experiencing a much higher rate in, uh, than those West Australians living in the southwest of our state. And the job of the Member of Parliament is to advocate and call in Parliament for the government to assist them, which I did on a regular basis. I've given my best and worked hard to significantly contribute to the growth and development of the region within the parameters of the changing political landscape, including securing some big ticket infrastructure items facilitated largely by royalties for regions. And I want uh, to uh, let you know there's a bit of a list here, members, so uh, uh, sit back and relax. Uh, but Carnarvon, new uh, uh, community college, a heritage precinct museum interpreter centre, a new 38 bed aged care facility, 15 independent living units, a hospital redevelopment, public dental facility, renal unit, drug and alcohol centre, a new police station and courthouse, a new library and art centre, for scene redevelopment, boat ramp, marine upgrades, yacht club pens, new bore fields, water pipelines, and of course, after that devastating flood in 2010-11, uh, flood mitigation to protect our horticulture so everyone in this house has fruit and veg to be able to eat. In Coral Bay, workers' accommodation. Onslow, multi-purpose centre, basketball courts, water park, new airport, new hospital, underground power, Meekathara Community Resource Centre, new gym, uh, an oval, uh, oval lighting, go-kart and dirt club program, 30 kilometres ceiling of the balloon and Meekathara Road, Landor Meekathara Road upgrade and seal which is now, now nearly complete. Exmouth, a town centre revitalisation, Ningaloo Centre, Exmouth boat ramp, uh, boat harbour upgrade, flood mitigation for the light industrial uh, area, Exmouth Water Park, Shark Bay Community Resource Centre, Shark Bay Recreation Centre, Denham Foreshore Redevelopment, Denham and Monkey Mire Jetties, Gascoigne Junction Pub, Tourist Precinct, Kalini Bridge, Community Resource Centre and new mobile phone tower. Would you believe when um, uh, in uh, 2000 and before 2008, there was no mobile phone reception in Gascoigne Junction, 180 kilometres uh, east of uh, Carnarvon. And the complaints that I got were, suddenly their phone bills had gone through the roof because <laughs> they were able to use their mobile phone. But 
Mount Magnet, new skate park, pool revitalisation, visitor centre, mining at the Mining and Pastoral Museum, youth centre extension, uh, volunteer fire rescue um, service running track. Yao Gu and Q Community Hub Sports Centre, Caravan Park Redevelopment, U Centre, Payne's Fine Airstrip, Ceiling of the Yao Gu Morrowa Road, Nursing Post and St John Ambulance Upgrade, Mobile Phone Tower again, a town that did not have in Yao Gu any mobile phone coverage um, at that time. Tourist Park Upgrades, Community Resource Centre um, and Water Park, Sandstone, New Administration and Civic Centre, uh, Star Shire Staff Housing, Water Park, Caravan Park Upgrades, and um, Tom Price, Clem Thompson, Clem Thompson Memorial Oval Pavilion, Town Centre Revitalisation, Community Resource Centre, Sporting Precinct, Redevelopment of Pool and Upgrades, Murchison Oasis, Roadhouse, Caravan Park, Airport Upgrade, Bolognese Bridge Replacement and Parabadoo Town Centre Revitalisation, Parabadoo Hub, Swimming Pool, Men's Shed, Child Care, Michael Sub, Michael Motorcycle Club Improvements. And the list goes on, members, but I won't bore members all the time. <laughs> um, but that was pretty significant, significant for those communities and, and have made a difference um, to the people's lives who live in those towns and especially the attraction and retention of people living in regional WA. But regional WA has not only had the challenges of upgrading outdated infrastructure, but it has the challenges of governments understanding the impacts of policy decisions, or I, as I call, ideology policy decisions. One major policy sh shift occurred in 2009 with the review of the district allowance. This is an important uh, incentive by the government, uh, for government employees to to work in regional areas was not reviewed for 15 years until Rorty's Regions came along and funded the increase to assist with the higher cost of living for regional WA. For example, in the Pilbara, they were losing police officers, teachers and nurses to the resource sector uh, this, uh, as the district allowance is only around $2,000 uh, back in 2008. Rorty's Regions lifted this allowance to well over $10,000 and I like to thank um, John Grove, um, who is the former Vice President of the Police Union, uh, for a strong advocacy to try and come up with solutions to ensure that the police could be kept and that people will still become police officers into the future with this district allowance. When Caratha was in my electorate, I'm proud to be able to claim a small amount of credit for the success of Pilbara Cities, uh, which resulted in the transformation of Caratha from a town into a city. But we all know that the credit must go to the Honourable Brenda Grills, a great leader, a great mate that always said, what's the solution? How can it be done? Everything new that you see in Caratha is courtesy of royalties for regions and the plan activated by the Nationals WA. Much like the former Labor Health Minister in 2007 who called the RFDS an interest group and tried not to fund the vital service uh, for the regions. In 2017, the Labor Education Minister attempted to cut education for the bush and scrap the school of the air and deliver this essential education service out of Perth. What a lack of understanding. This has to be one of the proudest moments. Leading the charge to reverse this uneducated decision made just before Christmas in 2017. I was able to hold rallies in Karratha, Geraldton, Kalgoorlie, supported by almost 1,000 School of the Air students, their families, past students, and those who appreciate education is everything. And I know and know how critical School of the Air is and has been to regional Western Australia. This position was packed up by over 30,000 Western Australians who underscored that School of the Air not only supports and underpins many businesses and their families, but that education should be accessible to everyone, no matter where you live. This was a petition signed online demanding that the McGowan Labor government reverse this decision. We won. Governments need to do more when it comes to closing the gap. One of the highest suicide rates in the countries is in the Gascoigne. Low school attendance, poor housing, the need for family support, high rates of unemployment, high crime rates, high drug and alcohol abuse, kids roaming the streets at all hours of the day as it simply is safer than going home. When we hear of budget surpluses of $5.7 billion and how low unemployment rates are, it's disgraceful that we have this going on in our backyard. When prison is seen as a break from life, we are not a rich society. 
What we are doing is not working and change is needed. But going forward, members, new and emerging industries such as hydrogen bearers would only, not only play a critical role in reducing our emissions in, in, uh, in not only in WA and Australia, but will play a key role in reducing global emissions around the world. These projects, which are centred around the electorate of North West Central, need to be supported by state, federal and local governments, as well as the need to bring communities, pastoral industry and traditional owners on this exciting journey. Along the way, members, I have had the privilege not only meeting some interesting characters around the electorate, but a few that have also been to the moon and space, <laughs> such as Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon, Gene Sermon, the last man on the moon, as well as our own Australian ast astronaut, Dr Andy Thomas. Not only did I meet these truly amazing pioneering astronauts, but also had the experience of spending many days with them, assisting the Carnarvon Space and Technology Museum, hosting their time here in WA. A huge thank you must go to Phil Gould, who brought to life the role that Carnarvon played uh, in the world space race and continues to work tirelessly to develop this important icon. Now here we get to the thank yous. Parliament House staff. The Parliament House staff, uh, which I've known some all, uh, well, for 35 plus years that have been around here. And I just want to say thank you for the work um, that you do for members of Parliament in this place. Uh, and I'm going to miss a few people out, but Basil, Lance, Deb, Mark, Steve, Anthony, Maria, David, Roger, Tony, Eno, Rob, the library staff, and especially as I used to have my office near the library, go to the library every day. But that was to collect the mints that they would have on the <laughs> counter. And for those um, chamber staff, um, I thank you for your guidance and assistance over the time. And also the committees. Um, the committee staff who do an amazing job for members who are on the committee. Um, and uh, I want to thank you for all your support and guidance. And those who are no longer with us uh, in this place, who I've known for over 30 years, thank you. Over the years, I have been blessed with loyal, passionate Tyler staff. Um, uh, who have been the backbone of me in dealing with all matters that you can imagine. But more importantly, never hesitating to tell me what they, th they think or they thought, and providing the skills needed to cover for me, as you can imagine, I'm only missing a few. But the biggest thank you needs to go to Doriana Mangili, Man Beard, Belinda Dixon, and Nolene Bassett, uh, who has been with me for over 10 years uh, on this journey, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have been a pillar of strength for me. Thank you. This amazing journey cannot be achieved without the support of friends and family. Uh, to my mates who have been there since school days, Andre Fagali, who's here, Tim Michelle for Norris, Brad and Simone Hutchison, Patrick Baroni, Sheldon Patrick, Brad O'Callaghan, Darren Evans, Charmaine and Dave White, I thank you guys. Uh, friends that I've met along the way from all walks of life, uh, through my involvement in political game at different points in time, are still right, behind my, uh, right beside me. And that is James Donnelly, uh, John Little, David Wood-Ponder, Tony Shaw, James Wishart, Peter Robbins, Shelley Archer, Kevin Reynolds, uh, Peter Katsanis, Tony Shaw, Kevin Caton, Robbie Sims, Renee Isaacs, Bob Isaacs and Frank Paulino. To my friends that I have gathered around the electorate over the years, they have been my rock. Paul and Belinda Dixon, Paul and Stephanie Kelly, Shane Elmore, Lex Fulton, Tess, Tessa, Leanne and Peter Daly, Sandra Gain, Dennis and Bobby Holt, um, Alison and Chris Sentence, Terry Fleeton, Nick and Lisa Fardell, and of course in this place we call them Big Nick. <laughs> Gail Bellotti and her family, Lionel Quartermain, uh, Bernie Duffield, Cheryl Moncrief, Sandy Clancy, Peter Clancy, Shane Van Stein, Turk and Lorraine Shales, Trevor and Jocelyn Clark, Larry Burkett, Benny Bellotti, uh, Darren Catewell, 
Capesey, Lara Jensen, Tim and Ed, Ed Shawcross, Sean Darcy, Matt Nicola, Bill Price, Gary Mosley, David Gillespie, Alex Kalis, The Morgans, Jamie, Robbie, John and Lisa, uh, Ashley and Debbie Dowden, Jorgen Jensen, John McCleary, Don Hammerquist, Lockie and Jane McTaggart, Chantelle King, Ross and Pix Pinkton, Greg Ridgely, Mark and uh, Margaret Young, Kane Simpson, Raul and I, uh, Yvonne Venezuela, Peter Grundy, Jason and Helen Regan, Guy and Christina da Costa, Cindy and Rodney uh, Appleton, Melissa Finlay, Norm Tranfield, Harvey Nichols, Martin Walsh, Karen Williams, Horry and Meacha from the Commie. Thanks, boys, for looking after me there. Um, John Spargo, Gary Hill, Phil, David, Gro uh, Phil and Liana Frizop, David Gooch, all the Cozy boys, the Condo family, Bobo, Roscoe, Emma, Vokes Taylor, Scott Bourne, Glenn Della, Dave Forrest, uh, Jane and Gordon, Gordon Pierce and my mate Robin Vandenberg, who took the plunge, leaving the Liberal Party to join the Nationals with me back in 2009, um, and many uh, with me, and many um, more that I thank who aren't here today, but who have made and thank those who have made the trip down from the northwest. And I look forward to having a beer with you uh, later on, and also around the electorate uh, as I say farewell. But my former. Um, National Party colleagues, and Wendy Duncan is here today. Uh, I thank you. I thank um, uh, Tuck, Woody, and Bredders, uh, who have played a huge supporting role in me coming across to the National Party. Uh, to my aunties and uncles who are here, Tony and Gail Catania, Susie and John DeClara, uh, Vince and Lisa Iozzi, and all my cousins, thank you. My sister and brother-in-law, Sarah Tim Phillips, and their kids, uh, Molly, uh, who's the only one who's actually taken interest in politics, and who knows? I think you'll make a great Prime Minister one day, Molly. Uh, Lucy, Jessica, Kate, Rich, Haynes, Harry, Camilla and Jack, thank you. Uh, to my mother, mother and father-in-law, Dudley and Sue Maslin, who have provided support and guidance to me over the years, thank you very much. To my sister, Angela and James Elder and their kids, Hamish Bed, uh, and my brother, Stephen and uh, Jana Catania, uh, Hugo, Allegra, Maxi, Mark, Sandra, thank you very much. Uh, to Mum and Dad, and to Nick, uh, Mum and Dad, Rita and Nick Catania, who, without your guidance, encouragement, support, and work ethic through the yacht ethic, this honour of serving would not have been possible. I now look forward to being around more for the family, uh, more, more around the family gatherings, which I've missed too many. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Uh, to Joanna, my good friend and wonderful mother of Nicholas, thank you for many years of your sport. Um, to my beautiful wife, Danny, who not only works full time and runs her own veterinarian business whilst looking after our five amazing teenage children. Uh, Jack, Tom, Nicholas, Rosie, and Izzy. This day is for you. Danny would say that she has six kids, and I'm sure all the kids are, are dreading, uh, dreading me being around much more than I have been. Instead of annoying my colleagues in this place, I now get to turn my attention to you. <laughs> it has been an absolute honour to have represented the people of North West, Central and Regional WA. A real privilege. I'll miss this job, but thankfully I'll always have contact with my electorate and the wonderful people that have come to meet in the course of my work and will always be connected to the North West. I extend my very best wishes to the National Party, WA and the Liberal Party, who have a monumental task of keeping the government to account. But I know with the leadership of Mia Davies and her team, Shane, Peter, Colin, Marty, and the, and the Liberals, David and Libby, this will be achieved. To my colleagues on the other side, I wish you well. And to all my supportive constituents, I'd like to say a massive thank you. It has been a massive uh, pleasure, honour, and I've worked to represent you, um, the people of North West, for 17 and a half years. There are going to be challenges ahead but for all, uh, for all of us, but if there's one thing I can pass on, it's working together. It's going to get a lot more done and help our state reach its potential. 
Good luck to my successor. Look after our electorate. They're all pretty special bunch. <laughs>